We go now, fellas. Here we go. We got the Colonial Autumn beer. Now this is pretty fucking out there. I love autumn beers. I had a couple of rippers in my life. One was in uh, Tokyo. I've never seen it before. It was a local brand, I think Sapporo, did a, an autumn beer. It was sensational. And the other one was in Southern Holland in Maastricht in the train station. I went in and they had Grolsch autumn beers. Pretty similar. Big can. Actually, might have been a bigger can. Pretty reasonable compared to Australia. And that was one of the best beers I've ever had. Both the autumn beers I had were sensational. As you can tell, the colour is pretty reminiscent of autumn. It's like that orangey Oh, wow, that's so rich. I think autumn beers are becoming one of my favourites. Something about these autumn beers that are just fucking insane. It's so good. Mm. So I just had the uh, Weisswurst sausages with mashed potato. Pretty exclusive potato made for boiling or mashing. It was sensational. We had a, a bit of a, a leftover vindaloo curry that we had steak in, but there was a lot of veggies left in the sauce. But, geez, it went well with the Weisswurst. I made it a creamy vindaloo. It wasn't a stinky, hot, vinegary laced vindaloo it was it was that and then i added cream and just backed it all off it was yum cheers guys good to be back on board see if i can keep my mouth shut for a, a little while anyway got the apple got Flowers, I give it a master chop this year. I chopped it right back. It's looking really good, healthy. Bananas, just getting new leaves, but they're looking pretty crappy. Oh, everything else is looking fucking insane at the moment. Being spring. I might do a video out the front tomorrow. Oh, maybe I'll do a video at stevie's because i'm going over there tomorrow i think we've got the cox plate tomorrow anyway we have a bit of a bed on a saturday you know especially autumn and spring spring carnival autumn carnival it's like a good time to have a bet because all the good horses win the good jockeys win they make shit loads of money my cousin's running tomorrow he's in actually in sydney tomorrow which is a bit of a Strange thing, he was in Melbourne last week. But he got stuck in Hong Kong for a couple of years. And his wife was here. Can you imagine that? Two years without seeing your wife? I reckon that was strange. Catching up with her after a couple of years. They were in like some sort of lockdown in Hong Kong. They couldn't leave. Anyway, he's back. And he's winning. I think he won couple of big races last week so he's riding well i remember watching a race in hong kong him him and puny were right near the back and they looked at each other and they just went fucking ballistic with the whip and went straight through the whole fucking huge field just missing horses going like cut cunts really cat cut cut that's the saying, and a cup of cats. Oh, what else I said there? I'll get banned again, you tripper. Anyway, one of them got second, one got third. They nearly won. They were fucking flying. They, had, they, were, they look so happy, though. And that's what it's all about. You got to work. You don't mind working hard and making your boss lots of money 
as long as you're happy. Yeah, that's a really good thing. You've got good relationships, which is the number one thing of the whole world, wide world. Why you're here, if you haven't got any relationships, but you've got trillions of dollars, you're a fucking loser. You know what I mean? You're not going to come back better than a gnat, a gnat's asshole, or a mozzie's fucking tail, I don't know. Anyway. That's my belief. My belief is karma, physics, quantum physics. You get out of life what you put in, and your next life will be what you've done in this life. So don't do too many nasty things. Don't cause too much suffering, you know. For an extra dollar, it's not fucking worth it. Just take it easy and enjoy your cruise through this life. You'll be reborn again next life, and you'll get a better life if you're a good person. And that's all I'm going to say. Here we go, Colonial Autumn. What a great beer. Look out for this one, guys. Jeez. It's got about a 60 IBU rating. It's huge. It's lovely. Cheers, guys.